The Trump 2020 campaign wasting no time putting out a new ad slamming Democrats for a collusion hoax. Take a look. The evidence is pretty clear that there was collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. I think there's plenty of evidence of collusion or conspiracy in plain sight. We saw strong evidence of collusion. Well, we know there was collusion with people in the campaign. Let's bring in former DNC chairman Ed Rendell. Ed, thank you for being here this morning. You, you go back to the tape and you see how many times we heard prominent Democrats talking about actual evidence of collusion. The report is out. Robert Mueller couldn't find any. Would you like to see more of an acknowledgement from your own party as to the results of this investigation? Well, I do think we all need to read the report first. I mean, the president, in his usual style, made some statements which weren't true. He said the report totally exonerated him. It did exonerate him on any evidence of collusion, but it specifically said, and his own attorney general said, it did not exonerate him on obstruction of justice. That has to be uh, looked at by people who are going to look at the report and decide what to do with it. So the, the uh, question is, uh, what we, should we do as Democrats? We should continue to do investigations when appropriate, but we should focus our attention now on legislation. In this case, was the investigation appropriate, Ed? Oh, yeah. Seven courts, uh, seven federal judges, including one who was appointed by President Trump, all ruled that the investigation was proper and legal. So there's no question about that. The president was dead wrong about that as well. Kimberly Strassel penned a piece in the Wall Street Journal this morning. Mueller's done. Now probe the real scandal. Americans deserve a full accounting of the missteps of Comey and the FBI. In that piece, she writes, it's a searing indictment of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You know, looking back, do you think that there needs to be a look back and an investigation as to how this initially started? Well, let me say this. I don't know how she knows what's in the report because nobody's seen the full report. And I think we should withhold judgment on that issue until we've seen the whole report. But look, everyone doubted that Mueller was going to be fair. The president kept saying witch hunt, witch hunt, witch hunt. But I knew from Mueller's reputation that he would be fair. And the fact that no evidence exists to prove something doesn't necessarily mean it didn't happen. It means that no evidence exists to prove it. So the Democrats should not have made the statement that there was plenty of evidence of collusion. Th there wasn't. It was at the margins at best. Now we should put that behind us and focus on investigating other things that need investigation, but most important, on legislating. We need to pass out of the Democratic House an infrastructure bill to get people back to work and to do something about the absolutely pathetic state of our infrastructure, well, immigration. It sounds like you're making the case the to move on. Problem. It sounds like that you're making the case to move on. And what you just heard from the yeah, White House you, was that this should be end of story. Two years, $25 million later, that this should be the end of that story. I want to ask you about what is happening for 2020, because this certainly will play a big part in what happens there. Here's the latest uh, Fox News polling on what we're seeing so far with Democratic nominees, uh, the preference among Democratic primary voters. Biden, although not even in the race yet, topping the list. Sanders moving up. You saw the crowd there that he had a moment ago, 23 percent. Harris and O'Rourke round that out at 8 percent. I know that you have said um, that at one time this would be a slam dunk for Democrats to beat the president. You've moved on for that. What, what changed? Well, we, we, our party started making unforced errors. Uh, the day after the 2018 election, if we'd held the presidential election that day, President Trump would have gotten drummed out of office. Remember, Democrats got 9 million more votes for Congress in the 2018 election than Republicans did. That's three times what President Trump lost the popular vote by in 2016. Then we started making unforced errors. We started talking about uh, getting rid of ICE. We started talking about uh, uh, the Green New Deal. We started talking about Medicare for all without talking about how we're going to pay for it. So we started to make unforced errors. We started, uh, uh, some of our new members started criticizing, uh, making comments about I, the Middle East. I hear you uh, talking you about know, a lot. All those things. 
And I wonder, I wonder then if you could just tie this and bring this all full circle then looking at 2020 and Democrats' chances now that this report is out, Ed. And here's Brad Parscale. I want to end with this because we haven't shown this yet. Here is what the president's campaign manager is saying as a result of this report, so distraught and blindsided by the results of the 2016 elections. Democrats lied to the American people continually, hoping to undo the legitimate election of President Trump. Their dirty tricks have not ended. Even today, Democrats have picked up the disgraceful mantle of investigating, obstructing, and destroying the will of the American people at any cost. They failed once, and they will fail again. I wonder if you could finally, Ed, just tell us what are the lessons learned here and what have Democrats learned as a result of this process and how things will change when it comes to 2020? Well, first of all, I wouldn't, if I were a Republican, say that President Trump is out of the woods. This was just one of many, many different places that are investigating President Trump. For example, on the campaign finance violations with, with his lawyer, the paint off the, uh, the women. That's a clear violation That's of federal law. That's beyond the scope of the Mueller investigation. They were right. looking but, for but, collusion. But, but, Go ahead. Right. But, but, but we're talking about other investigations that are ongoing, which could be just as damaging. But that's number one. But number two, yes, it's time for us. We, we can continue looking at certain things which should be looked at, but we have to get back to, to doing the business of the people. Mm -hmm. And that's legislating on infrastructure, immigration, fixing the uh, Affordable Care Act, things like that. Mm -hmm. That will be the key to whether we'll be successful in 2020. All right. Ed Rendell, great to have you on America's Newsroom this morning. Thank you.